The theme, a speculative coin with an actual working product? Well, let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we're going to look into the Project Latheme, see what it's all about, and find out where they get the wallet, what miner to use, coin price, what you can expect to make if you mine it yourself, things of that nature. A little bit about myself, been in the cryptocurrency space for nearly two years now, do a lot of speculative coin mining. I can build GPUs, miners, and I also do something called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hammer those likes so you don't miss my Enter to Win video coming up this week. All right, so let's head over to their Bitcoin talk. Again, as usual, all of the links and things I'm talking about will be down in the description below, so don't worry about trying to find any of this information that I talk about. This project has been out for a while, as you can see, a little over a year now, but it always seems to be towards the top half of what to mine, so I figured I would look into it, and here I am making a video on it. The theme is the latest in blockchain and VPN technology aimed at unlocking the internet for all to use freely. We offer a suite of privacy tools for users that are fast as well as easy to use. Just download the wallet, obtain some coins, and click connect on whatever product is being used, and you'll be all set. We'll show you that in a second. Scroll back up. Here's our website. Lathene. What is Lathene? The name Lathene comes from the root Leith, which refers to the Greek spirit of forgetfulness and oblivion. The Lathene team is on a mission to allow users to reclaim their security and privacy online. Our development team has over 100 years of combined experience with cybersecurity and blockchain technology. We have created a unique VPN sharing marketplace that allows users to sell their unused bandwidth to earn passive income. I think that's kind of neat. I might be able to set up one of these on one of my mining rigs and just let it run in the background and get paid some of the theme as well. This marketplace also allows users to shield their browsing habits from prying eyes by connecting to an, another user's bandwidth with peer-to-peer -peer VPN technology. The payment method used to purchase VPN services is Latheen, our very own private cryptocurrency, making it a strong utility with an untraceable payment method. Head back over here a little bit of uh, specs on the coins. Latheen, it's no longer Kryptonite 8, it's Kryptonite R. Roughly a billion initially. That's a high pre-mine, but if you scroll down right here, 55 million reserved for the Latheen core team as of March 31st. So that's about a third of their initial pre-mine. So it's a little bit higher than I would like. And the actual amount of coins is higher than I would like. But if you, but when we get into the wallet, I'm going to show you the, how the VPN works. You'll see probably why it makes sense to have a, a lot more coins. All right, so where are we at? Back over to here. With our easy to set up exit node technology, VPN providers on our network can get paid by selling their unused internet bandwidth on our marketplace and acting as an exit point for traffic. Providers can earn passive income whenever they want from their already paid for internet connection. And again, these links will be down below, but this shows you how to set up the exit node. So I'll probably be looking into that later myself and I'll probably throw it on one of my mining rigs and get paid passively in the background. Okay, so how do we mine this thing? First, we're going to need the wallet. So here's the wallets page. Again, this will be down below. Real quick, are any of you using the VPN feature via the wallet? Let me know down below with a yes or no. I'd be interested to know what you guys think on that or if you are actually using the VPN service that they provide. I downloaded the Windows GUI, which is right here, because, of course, I have a Windows. They do have Mac, Linux, and then, of course, they have a paper wallet. So, once you click Windows GUI Download, I put it in its own folder called Latheme. You would go into here, unzip it. It would be Latheme GUI. Go into here, and then you're going to click, scroll down a bit. Where are we at? 
and there we are Luthien Wallet GUI you would double click on that it's a pretty simple setup process you know like some of these other wallets you got to copy down to 12 different word phrases your in case you lose access to your wallet you'll need those to recover your wallet enter a password confirm the password things of that nature and then you'll be set up and ready to go with your Luthien wallet and once you're done this is what it will look like so similar to uh, some other wallets I've done in the past. You're going to click receive and you're already going to have your address right in here so you can click copy or you can go to address book and create your own address like you could be you could call it description AMD rig and video rig or call it whatever you want and create your own address. But I just went the simple route and clicked on receive and click copy. So that's how you get your mining address. Uh, let me show you the VPN proxy real quick. Go to provider, and here is a list of all the providers. Now, if you have actual Lithene in your wallet, then you'll be able to connect to any one of these providers, and they have a little rating system, which I thought was neat as well. See, it says waiting for balance, so I cannot connect to any of these because I don't have any Lithene yet, although I am mining it. So I just thought this was neat. You can use this as a, your own private little VPN, and it's 0 0.05 Lithene a minute and if we go to like details like this one's 30 megabit up and download and first prepaid minutes 30 subsequent prepaid minutes 30 so it's basically 0 0.05 Lithene a minute and I worked that out to be like 0 0.0003 cents a minute so it's really cheap I think it was like a total of four cents if you had it on all day long really cheap um, I might even look into that myself I do have Norden VPN right here it's not connected right now but that's what I use but I may uh, I may give this a shot see what it does it's pretty cool to do a speculative coin mining video with a product that actually works all right so enough babbling let me go over to receive you're gonna copy this that's what you need to mine lithine list so let me minimize this Close that. So the miner I'm using is Team Red Miner. And here we are right here, latest version 0.5.7 Windows Zip. So you just click on that and download it. Here is my AMD rig, got it running right now. I put it in its own folder, unzipped it, as I usually do. Name the miner, the version, and of course, Lithene. So you go into here. I've already created a run.bat file, which will be down below. So all you have to do is copy what's down below and paste it into a notepad file and of course what you're going to want to change is your actual address which is right here definitely going to want to change that we just got that from the wallet the pool I'm using block harbor but there are various pools that you can use so I'm using the second pool right here but as you can see there are plenty of pools to choose from use any pool you want just make sure you change the bat file or you can just leave it the way it is and mine on blockharbor.net. There's the port already set up, ready to go. Algorithm is CNR. So again, this bat file will be down below. Just paste it into a notepad file. Then you're going to click File, Save As. Make sure it's in that Team Redminer folder. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it run1.bat. Then click Save. So let me close this now. Let me go to the miner. Let me close the miner. And then I'll show you pulling it up. All right, so here we are, run one. So all, that's the file we just created. So just double click on it. Miner will pull up, see what kind of cards you have. Team Red or Miner will go through and do a little uh, tweaking, initializing on your GPUs, getting the best out of them. See, minor load is at 41%, so it's kind of spooling it up here a little bit to see where it's going to fall as far as hash rate. And then once it gets there, you'll be good to go. And as you can see, I'm getting a bunch of shares right now off the bat, and it will actually slow down here in a bit. But as usual, you want to go over to the pool and make sure that you are sunk up with the pool. So there's the hash rate right here, 3.49 kilohash. All right, so here is the pool I'm using, blockharbor.net. You would put your wallet address right here and click track live stats. I've already done so, and it's already tracking it down below. I've only been mining since was maybe an hour now so far. 
I've not received any total due yet, so let's see how it goes. According to what to mine, I've already got this in. Let me click calculate, and we're going to scroll down, and lithine should be right here. It's saying I should get anywhere from 21 to 2200 lithine. $1.34 a day gross, only 17 cents if I were to sell it at the time that I'm mining it, which I'm not planning on doing that anyways. So yeah, you always want to make sure that you are connected with a pool. So make sure when you put your wallet address in there, it actually does pull it up and show you on the pool. Otherwise, you're going to be mining for no reason. Coin price. Over to coin market cap. So here's the price, 0 0.0006 cents. But back in the bull run, we were sitting at about seven cents a coin. So it definitely has some upside to it. So I'm gonna mine here for a little while and build up a small little bag and hold it like I normally do. So that's pretty much lithine in a nutshell. Be sure to subscribe. I have my Miner Cup series. I've started that over again. So the videos should start rolling out on that where I'm comparing different profit switching slash one click miners. First video should be coming out here in a day or two. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so when those videos do come out, you'll be notified. Also, you don't want to miss Bitcoin Friday, so subscribe for that. Any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you like I always do. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.